I'm going to give you a little tour of the practice course for faculty for certification. I'm going to talk about two things. First, I'm going to talk about the structure of the course, and then I'm going to talk about the structure of the modules. If I go into the course content, you're going to see that this course is made up of nine modules. Within each module, you'll find information that will introduce you to new topics and instructions aligned to hands-on act practice activities with accompanying video and step-by-step -step printable tutorials. Modules 1 through 4 will provide you with detail on how to get started uh, teaching a course that has been previously developed, complete and ready to teach, minus some minor personalizations. You will experience the tools necessary to manage and modify existing items, communicate with your students, and keep course information current. Modules 5 through 9 provide the details you need to add content to your course. This includes customizing your gradebook and creating the assessment tools, quizzes, discussions, forum topics, and Dropbox folders. When you've completed all the hands-on activities, there are some final steps you'll need to complete. These include complete the final certification for my courses checklist, complete the certification for, of completion quiz, and then you'll send an email to your faculty facilitator and attach your completed checklist. So now let me show you the structure of the modules. What I'm going to do is give you an example of module two. To get into a particular module, you click on the name of the, the module in the table of contents, contents paint panel. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and what you want to do is read the module objectives. In this particular case, I'm going to explain the difference between start, end, and due dates. I'm going to add some start, end, and due dates to the content. I'm going to add my syllabus, and I'm going to set up the content item to draft. There is a reminder, or a reminder in every single module beginning to connect with your cohort. This is a place for you to ask questions and share information. Then if you scroll down into the module itself, and then you read, read very carefully. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and add start dates to the topic. So this explains what start, end, and due dates are. And then within each module, you're going to have a short introduction, and then you're going to have the hands-on activity, a reason for the hands-on activity. In this particular case, this hands-on activity explains exactly what you need to do. Review the following tutorials, and then set the start, due, and end date on the three topic items that follow. And they these items are titled set the dates to the quiz, set the dates to the discussion, set the dates to the topic, the Dropbox. You'll see that we have video tutorials and step-by-step -step tutorials for every single item. You also want to maybe review the faculty certification for my courses checklist. This checklist will explain exactly what you need to do for each of these particular activities. So I can click on, let's say, the step-by-step -step tutorial, and I can look at it, and I can go ahead and print this out. There's even the video tutorial in here, which gives you a visual of what you need to do. Then what you need to do is complete those activities. So for this example, I need to set dates on this item, on this item, and on this item. So if I click here and go to Edit Properties in Place, this is how I complete this particular activity. I, the step-by-step -step tutorial would explain that to me, and the video tutorial would also show me that. Once you're done with that particular activity, you then move on to the next one, which is adding a syllabus. And again, go through the little information up here, read everything carefully, review the tutorials, and then complete the specific activity for what you need to do. So that is a little bit of a tour of the practice course for faculty certification. 